What is up? What is up? Good morning. Good morning. I hope that you guys can hear me okay. It's early in the morning and I'm not even out of my bed. But it's been something that's just really, 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 really bothering me. And I feel like I just got to get these things off my chest. But I have to find the proper way to get it off my chest because, number one, I'm a lady. You know what I'm saying? And I do my best to not let people get me outside of my proper space. Right? So, let me let y'all get in here for a second. I'm going to just premiere this video. I don't, I'm not even doing this video live because what I have to say, I need to make sure that I am choosing the right words. Like, I'm literally sitting here laying with my eyes closed on my pillow, just making sure that I find the right words to say what it is that I have to say. And what I have to say is this. I was straight slandered by a former number one draft pick NBA player. Like, no joke. And in my heart, in my bones, every bit of me as a woman is telling me that I was slandered, I was defamed, my business was affected. And that's not okay. I would like to just say that this happened to me. I was belittled on a panel after winning a pitch contest with a new small business, a, a small business that was trying to get people to come be a part of the business right so when I think about that and I think about what has been going on with me since that happened I know that in all honesty and actuality yeah I was I was really really affected and so I wanna I wanna play this real quick. I wanna play some things that may kind of help you guys find a perspective and then also at the same time give myself the opportunity to talk about it and just kind of unpack it. So I most definitely wanna start with I most definitely want to start with. I don't have much time. Uh, okay. So, why is Farmer Nancy so bothered? Why does she feel like she was slender? And why is it much deeper than you guys could? truly imagine. Let's, let's see. Okay. Kwame Brown business or bust on RIP app. Help for small businesses. First of all, in this video, Kwame Brown is presenting the business or bust idea. He doesn't even really know what that means or what that looks like at the time he makes this video but he does give us the details on how small businesses will be able to present and where the money will be coming from okay let's see This nigga just be talking. Okay, here we go. First of all, 
he's doing a small business. What do we want to call this shit? A pitch contest. He's doing a pitch contest on the Apple iPhone, right? And so, if you don't have an iPhone, his suggestion is, in order to win five hundred, you go out and spend two fifty on the iPhone six. Let's listen to this. Because over on Riff, we're about to build like a business. It's called uh, Business or Bus. Uh, I think it's Business or Bus, but uh, damn, I had it down. I should have wrote it down. <laughs> it's See, he don't even know what it is he was going to be doing. And he thought it was funny. He was just like joking it off, right? Okay. Business or bust. I know it's bust in there. I think it's business or bust. But the unique thing about this room is that the more you grow the room, the more the kitty can grow. So Riff has pledged uh, $500 to any small business. Okay. Riff. Riff has pledged. So we definitely want to know who the people at Riff are and all of that good stuff. So for all of everybody, after he slandered me, he had all of you people believing that he himself had given me something. Let's clear that up right here. Riff pledged, Riff pledged, and Riff pledged because I, on my own accord had been networking on Riff inside of Kwame Brown's Riff Room. Like I said in one of my videos that talks about this situation, I was a moderator in his Riff Room, okay? So he was not always in the Riff Room, okay? So the people in his Riff Room including myself his moderator were growing and building his room as well okay i just i want to get this I, we got to get this out that present their business and you know show their business and show it off and what they're doing and we're going to come to a vote and we're going to do it every, on wednesday we're going to do it after week weasel wednesday i want to say go over the river okay so on Week Weasel Wednesdays, we were also doing Biz or Bust Wednesdays. So when I think back to this entire situation, all I can think to myself is for two hours every Wednesday, he would be disrespecting whoever he felt like was a Week Weasel, right? And then at the end of that, as if to be an afterthought, he would say, go over to the riff room. We're going to present and pitch your businesses, right? Okay. Yeah, you wanna have the link in the, in the description box, just like it's in the description box right now. You guys need to join that room, join up, join up, join up. Because if you grow that room, that $500 can go to $1,000. That $1,000 can go to $2,000. Okay, and this is the part where it gets real. So now we're moving into those kind of pyramid, community potlucks kind of thing where it's okay. You go to the room, you go to the room, we put 500 this month, then we're going to give somebody else a thousand. People got to keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. It's like they're keeping you trapped within this loop. And there's, there's a, another layer to riff. And I really want to look at that with y'all, but let's, let's finish listening. 
but it's all about the size of the room. So if you want some funding, go into some of these small businesses that can present themselves like a shark tank type of thing. That's there it is, y'all. I presented myself in a shark tank type of thing fashion. I pitched myself. He didn't just pick me. It wasn't just random. I had to show my merit in my business and they had, I gave them my information. They researched and looked me up. Of the people and my community on Rift, they've been helping each other out even when I wasn't even there. Didn't I just say that? You guys, did I not just say that even when he wasn't there, the people in his room was keeping it going. The reason that he, they brought out the biz or bust was because the numbers in his room were dropping. His room was no longer generating coin. We gonna get to the coin. So a lot of information is being shared on Riff. It's a lot of free game. So. If you want to come over, join the Rift link that I just put in the description box. As the room grow, the kitty will, will grow with it. So, if small businesses need some help with the payroll, uh, if you're already up and coming and you just not, might need some relief for payroll so you can buy more inventory. Yes, my baby wanted to do a strawberry patch project. We needed the funding to start her strawberry patch. That's what we're going to do on this app. Uh, and we want to be able to share business ideals. And we want to be able to give some free game and help people. Like Share. Y'all just heard him say, we want to be able to share ideas. He says that so much. Yeah, I never see him sharing ideas. He most definitely did not share the ideals from this biz or bus that he took the time out to present to his 4,000 subscribers, I mean his 400,000 subscribers. Y'all, the reason I say 4,000 is because I will never forget. He slandered my name with four thousand subs in the chat it was four in front of four thousand people this man opened his mouth and spoke on me without knowing he was lying he didn't know he was never here he wasn't here he's never been here to to open his mouth to say that i want a celebrity to do anything for me or that I don't know what it feels like, like to tell me in my line of work that, and to tell 4,000 people that she don't know what it feels like to go to colleges and encourage kids and speak to people. How could you make my business seem like such less than after I won a pitch Shark Tank type competition. Like has anyone ever seen Mark Cuban belittle a, a, a Shark Tank participant just because that person disagreed with them? Y'all know how many people on Shark Tank disagree with Mark and them when they don't get funded. They disagree in their face, standing right there. Some of those people be like, oh, you're crap, uh, or it's your loss. I mean, to, to multi, multi millionaires that are relevant and living that life regular right now today, this is what people say to them. And they don't turn around and insult and defame and, and slander those people's businesses and names like 
Okay, let me finish. People that's already operating business, if you can show another person that may be operating the same business, but they're not in your market, you can tell them some good advice without it hurting your bottom line. Um, we we got away with away from. And this part right here is so strange to me because how did I win biz or bust for my urban farm and not be connected to Sister T? Or Kwame not reach out and try to connect me and Sister T and she got the people's garden. She's always had a garden. But we talk about division amongst black women she didn't reach out to me after I went on Kwame's panel and he slandered my name when she heard. She didn't even know. None of these people even knew what my business was. But here we are right now this morning listening to this entire Kwame Brown business or bus on risk app pitch proposal presentation and yet one of the primary people in his whole his whole situation that's promoting and pushing gardens and growing food isn't connected we're not connected this is so sad this is so sad helping the fellow man. We got away from sharing information and trying to sell everything. We're packaging Who got it, away selling from it. selling or but from sharing information? Another person's pain, another person's suffering could be your pain. Because a lot of people, sometimes they don't deal with pain and, and, and suffering the right way. And they can make you a victim. So it's better if we're all doing good. That's why when I came to YouTube, Is I'm it? like, if somebody can use my video and make money off my video, then all I got to do is take a little bit less. Oh, cool, man. I've been showing people who I was what is, since day one. What? You ain't never seen another YouTuber come on YouTube. Y'all, when I, when I listen to this, when I sit here and I'm laying here right now and I listen back to this shit, my brain hurt. My eyes start to throb because this nigga slandered me. Listen to what he's saying. Where are the receipts? What made him talk to me the way he talked to me on his panel? Can somebody please get the receipts that he claimed he had? And why would you? He even said he let. Okay, we gonna get there. I, let you use his videos. You know how much money that is? Promote small businesses for free with 400000 He never promoted my small businesses. He never promoted my small business to his 400,000 subscribers, y'all. The nigga said, shout out to Farmer Nancy. She won. All right. YouTube won't even send me the first plan. For the, the hundred thousand, we don't care about. I guess they're gonna try to drop nineteen, but when I came on the YouTube before, but they want to make that look weak too. It went back to him, 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 it's, him. It's all about him, 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 him. All about him, him, him. He never really cared. This, this was to get everybody over to the riff app. Okay. And after I post this video, I'm gonna post a video about the Rift app. Because we gonna unpack this shit. Farmer Nancy is no longer taking this. I'm not taking it. Sorry y'all for cussing because I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing really well and I wanna get these things across to you. Now we just heard him present to us a pitch contest this was a pitch contest and and i would consider riff the owners of riff to be 
investors, venture capitalists, and stuff like that, right? They're investors and stuff, right? So this was not Kwame Brown giving me no money, y'all. I don't, y'all, that's not what this was. It's just not. And I'm sorry, but he slandered me. And and that's not okay. It, it's not okay. It wasn't okay when he did it. And it's not okay right now. Um, because the way he did it, I have so many people that come at me and look at me like I'm some type of fool. I'm some type of groupie, celebrity, clout chaser. Like, that's so... Un uncool it's it's not okay because i never call him a celebrity you know and yet he was really saying these things about my business and it's just not okay and it bothers me it bothers me because now today i can hear him basically running down Gilbert Arenas because he wants acknowledgement for Gilbert allegedly slandering him and speaking on his name when Gilbert wasn't there. The double standard, y'all, is such a double standard. It's crazy. But I want, I want, before we move forward, okay. This is this right here. And she won the rift uh, this month. And uh, hopefully, everybody, man, we, we have. Shout out to everybody, man. We, we have fun on this side. Um, shout out to the farmer, Nancy. Uh, she won the rift uh, this month. And uh, hopefully we can get many more of you guys to come over here to riff. And uh, when we get it going, to get your business going. And, you know, we grow that room, we can grow the pie. So, um, salute to you guys, salute to Farmer Nancy. I'm going to bed. My eyes is crossed. Tired. Okay, y'all hear that? That was it. That's how he presented my business to his 4,000, that was my free promotion. So I got what I paid for. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> I got what I paid for, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even tripping about it. I still made a video. I The way he said, oh, people can use my videos. I, I added his part of his video where he said I won in my video where i showed everybody what we did with the funding that we won the first video was in december because we like to talk about timelines around here so we want to stay focused and stick to this timeline right december 25th ish after christmas around that time is when he did the presentation for Biz or Bus. Okay? December, January, February. This video I made February 21st. So, January, it took about two months to pick a winner. Right? To pick a contest winner. Cool. Bet that. So, once I won, during the time, February 21st, during this time, is when he was arguing and beefing with Tommy, and things started, right? See, Gilbert, February 18th, March 18th. I don't remember that date you was talking about. I think you said February 18th. That's the time. Mr. Skinny and Queen Regina, it was a big beef. And so all of that was going on. So my small business was overshadowed by beef. The positivity that I brought with my daughter and my family, 
that all of the people who claim they were supporting Kwame Brown about his message, my positivity was overshot by the drama, right? So because I saw and I was recognizing that, yeah, I felt some kind of way about it. And I, I don't know how to really speak my piece outside of going to speak to Kwame if I ever have the opportunity. And that opportunity presented itself once Kwame and Charleston White were going to meet up and people started being outraged at the fact that that oh my god how can you throw skinny to the side and pick up someone like charleston white to me that was huge hypocrisy not only that what does any of this have to do with the small businesses or oh my god <laughs> any of it have to do with the small businesses so now I don't know nothing about the YouTube streets, okay? <laughs> At this time, I didn't know nothing about the YouTube streets. So, we just outside. But I'm recognizing that something ain't right. So, I started doing a little research. I started reading up on some information. I'm like, man, what's really going on? I don't really see where outside of the shoe drive no, I'm not about to mention him going to colleges and stuff like that with Angela Stanton King because that's recent. I'm talking about like before the shoe drive. Like, come on, y'all. There's even a video <laughs> where Charleston White, damn these video, and Charleston White is saying that he was telling Kwame, you have to put that information out there. Like, people need to be able to go and say, oh, I see that you did this, blase, blah, 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 right? Even after he told him to do that, he still couldn't show. Like, he still had to be like, he ain't got no work. I knew I wasn't tripping. That's because his work is built on one hitter quitters. I know what that looked like because I deal with community organizers people in the community leadership whatever the fuck you want to feel like you want where you want to put yourself because i'm sorry y'all i'm trying not to get lit and i'm trying not to use bad words okay wherever it is that you've placed your masculinity within the community on the scale of righteousness sir because you ain't a celebrity, you ain't a leader, you just a reg you just a man. But you're a man pushing an agenda upon a marginalized set of people. You're constantly speaking upon people in vulnerable communities and situations as if you're living like that now. So because you're not, you are judging and imposing your will upon others without taking accountability for your words and action when people who consider your message to be something that they can agree or relate to. See, come on with it. Come on with it come on with it so because we're here i have to get this out we got to get this thing out here we just got to get this thing out here now mr brown after you know the biz and bust wednesdays got all and this is all so relevant because it's coming back full fold on me i feel like it's caving back in right and that's because we just had no chill gill respect say that he's gonna take the week weasel wednesdays 
which was also Biz or Bus Wednesdays, and turn them into his Giveaway Wednesdays. But Gil, did you know what Kwame was really doing on those Wednesdays? When he was busting businesses? Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, y'all. Let me get it together. Because let me settle back down onto my pillow and get my covers close to myself. I've been here on 30 minutes. I'm recording this video. I'm not even going to edit it. I'm going to just upload it. But I didn't want to do it live because I wanted to be able to have the opportunity to just freely speak without having to like read comments or anything like that. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. Everything is, is coming back full circle on me. And I just, I want to share i want to share i have to share because everybody's truth is being put out there but for some strange reason it's because i have to put it out myself and i ain't doing no tripping no tripping i want to go to the part of this video and not minding your own business and let us continue we can all share ideals, help one another, and then we can help. Oh my goodness. There goes that share ideals again. Okay, so this is March 22nd. And we're within that timeline, you guys. We're falling within the timeline. Okay. So, everybody, rainy you watched this you were here you were around during this time all you know what i'm saying so many of y'all did not understand and did not hear other people like Gotti or toothless or any other other people that was like hold up why is he coming at her like that this was so deep y'all missed this how did y'all miss this you're not sharing ideals though because you you have not shared he has not shared my content i literally said that but you were willing to say that you gave me something you didn't give me anything i people to do my i'm just out here Try to argue, we're gonna cut out. Hey, hey, Kwame, can I? Hey, Kwame, try me. Try me, try me. He claimed I was arguing. No, I was being argumentative. I was nervous. Hey, Kwame, I just want to say this, man. Look, the only thing they need to learn from you is from the platform what you're speaking about outside of the jokes and everything else. Is all I care about is when I'm moving the way I want to move, and you've done it first. You tell me when the zig and zag. Cousin Joy P, he said, when I'm moving the way I want to move and you've done it first, you tell me when the zig and zag. This nigga is talking about chick. Sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. He's talking about chicken coops in the hood, growing veg. But I'm out here with a curriculum for the kids. A prototype deemed that by the city. I did it first. So what are you talking about? They didn't know what they was talking about, y'all. This was pure slander. I was getting straight slandered. Slandered. The bullshit, the YouTube show. Hold on. How they're acting, patiently Hold waiting on. while he talks about the drama just to Listen, listen. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. It's hard to ever come up here. So just give me one second because I'm really, really nervous. Okay. So now we've explained that we're nervous, but we would also like to get to why we feel he may be hypocritical. I actually, you know what I'm saying? I won your biz or bus Wednesdays. You know what I'm saying? For small business Wednesdays. It was $500. Me and my babies went and bought strawberries to plant a strawberry patch. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm over here manifesting that you're going to come out into the community in Austin, Texas and do the work. Yes. Why am I wrong for saying that I'm manifesting that we'll be able to have Kwame Brown see the work that my daughter did with the funds that we were able to get after we pitched our business? Especially when at this time, March 22nd, he's coming to Texas. Fort Worth is literally two and a half hours away. And he rocking with Charleston White. And I rock with his numbers in my phone. Y'all, this was so baffling to me. But it was because this nigga didn't know who I was. Sorry. He didn't know who I was. Because he was not really invested in the biz or bus Wednesdays. He wasn't invested in that. That was something that came from Riff. The people at Riff believed that that would be a good idea for him. And they got the idea from us, the moderators that were in the riff room. Y'all, this goes so deep. It goes so deep. And that's why I'll be so fucked up. Because this, he slandered me. It was slander. Just Yo, like he that? said he was slandered. Yo, just like he said he was slandered by Gil, he slandered me. Said the word manifest. And I'm and I'm about to have to do something. I'm yep. Because now he's been doubling down. And so he's making my case even more. However, here is where I did listen to the shoe job. I want y'all to hear how this nigga was the way coming. He asked behaviors and how they're acting, and yet you turn around and offer baby to your specific cause. I was going in above approach from the real people. Cool. Don't put words of a man that you can have a right from me. Oh, okay. where you're from. I said, We the people, you all take care of your neighborhood. Where you're from, I helped you from where I am. So that's that shows you, and that's too much that you're putting on to another man that you can have a right from me that I didn't fly all the way to Austin. There's a lie. I didn't have a gripe for him that he didn't fly here. Who the fuck said that? Who told this nigga that I had a gripe? Look, listen to his, y'all should see his body language. Look at the animosity that he had while he talking about me. This man talked about me for five more whole minutes after he booted me. And it was four other men on a panel that just let him talk about a woman that wasn't even in the room. Texas, and now help you and your community. And here's where he went. What? Don't he was, I just said he was coming, but don't put words in my mouth. He was putting words in my mouth. Don't he hate that for words to be put in his mouth? Look at this. That's wrong of you to do that. That is wrong of you to do that. I said, each one, teach one. You're not asking nobody. Look how he reprimanded me, and I'm not even there. I'm going to meet up with people that's already doing the work. <gasps> you don't like me. Oh my God. He said he was going to meet up with people that was already doing the work. Y'all, I won the Shark Tank business pitch for doing the work what the fuck i'm sorry i'm sorry this can't be real life i hope i hope y'all show this to gilbert arenas i hope he really takes the time to sit down and watch this so that he knows that i would never i wouldn't have never sit there and been like all right kwame no, nigga, I ain't slandering you. How many people have you slandered? How many of the people who supported you did you slander? We talking about people being on trial. What about the people that were defamed, slandered, victimized? In front of his 4,000 subscribers and four or 400,000, excuse me, but the 4,000 that were there live. Because I didn't come to your community, 
Ma'am, I do not live in your community. Everything that I didn't I didn't Mr. fucking Brown say that he did. After he what the fuck? Move in the circles that you can move in. Yeah, I gotta fly. I'm, I'm, I'm responsible for Austin, Texas now. Nobody now, said gotta, that. Man, we all gotta link up and it gotta be buddy buddy and you gotta be cool. No. I but didn't yes, say that. That's exactly the same thing you're doing. But that's Charleston, what he was right? doing with Charleston. But it's cool, not a help one another, and then we can help our village around us. You're not sharing your ideas. I did that because you you have not shared my personal. It's people okay. right in front of me, but I can't help the world, and that's too much responsibility that everybody else try to give to a leader. Nobody said y'all listening. How he was he. <clears throat> He really tried to bitch me. He really tried to make me seem like a lowly ass goopy bitch. And he's a hoe for that. He defamed my character. He slandered my business, tried to make it seem like I didn't have no type of work, no work ethic. He took away my Meredith's awards, my accolades from being a public speaker that gets paid. I didn't been paid 2000 2500 $1,500 to speak at those colleges, boy. What? You're letting us know. I tell people every day. Huh? Outside of the jokes and everything else is all I I was in Mr. Skinny's discord disrespecting him how nobody told him to show the receipts of how farmer Nancy disrespected him but we all sat and listened and watched him disrespect me without probable cause show me where i went out i went to the utmost extreme to disrespect this man to the point to where he felt like he could do this right here to me he still respected me enough no he let me on that panel so he could do exactly what he's doing. He wanted to belittle me. He wanted to make me smile as if I was beneath him. Where's the receipts? I need to see the receipts. When I got the screenshots. Hold on. He got screenshots. And then she gonna try to tell me how to speak it over to me when I got the screenshots of the stuff that she's saying. That's all please. Y'all listen. I'm trying to tell him how to talk or try to over talk He was trying to over talk me and interject the was he was trying to get to make me. So I have a lot of questions about a lot of the behaviors that you be talking about, you know what I'm saying? So, but, but wait, no, wait, wait, wait. When you talk, but wait, when you talk about me, not being reality. Y'all, he booted me. When I said when you talk about it not being real, I, that's all I got out was reality. And he clicked me off. How was I over talking him? How was I? arguing i wasn't even arguing with him if i'm telling you that i'm nervous how the fuck does that turn into an argument he attacked me he was bullying me on his panel he tried to he but that was a bully eurocentric white boy tactic that's crazy I won't let, I can't. He slandered me. He slandered me. He was slandering me. And my thing is, I've been all over. I've been in New York. I've been all these other places. But all she saw was that she was right here for years. You didn't see the march in D.C. No, I did see the march in D.C., but we're talking about the kids. Remember, I thought we was talking about children who needed shoes because they was in a cheese line. I'm not talking about 
Rizza or Angela Stanton's agenda with abortion. Kids ain't getting abortions. Like, come on, bro. Like, what? Did y'all hear that? Another hard slander. He don't even know me to think that I think like that. How can he say that I think like that? As a business owner, for him to talk about me like this, as a business owner, and all of these people who were watching, who I could possibly network and do business with, he's fucking up my money, my bag. My access to resources and opportunities. He slandered me and it hurt my business's bottom line. That's a real thing. Man. The, the beautiful work going into the communities, speaking and going to colleges. Um, he said, I don't understand the beautiful work, y'all. He took away my whole, this nigga erased my whole resume but i was but i was being but i was cloud chasing or i was what 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 made him do that what what did i what made him come at me like this I believe it's because he hate women. Well, black women. <laughs> I believe. I wasn't saying stating, stating states, statements. You didn't even say, I believe she, or no, you were straight saying she, her, you, her, she. I mean, how much blood you got to give, man? Exactly. What up, this guy? And you never be able to give enough to give enough to the community. It's people like me that you'll never be able to give enough to. <gasps> Listen at the way he was talking about me. A Shark Tank pitched Rift Contest winner. That's so hurtful. Y'all, he defamed me. He really, really did. He really, he really tried to low blow me. And that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That was fucked up. Sorry, y'all. I don't know, I don't know if I'm upset about it. Like, I mean, it happened months ago, but we be hearing this grown ass man cry, cry, a millionaire, y'all, this nigga got, he's a millionaire, right? He got properties, he got money, he got all this shit, right? But yet we hear him cry about his brand. I ain't got shit. I'm, I'm just a marginalized and vulnerable, disenfranchised farmer, farming in the hood. Shit, my kids on free and reduced lunch. What, what you, what you talking about? What's talking about? I got that wick. Shoot, I got that pandemic EBT because my kids was on free and reduced lunch. But I'm still out here grinding. I'm still on my, I'm still pushing and I still put in that work and I still <clears throat> take care of my family and I still do what it is that I'm supposed to do as a black business owner. And he came at me the way he came at me. But this is why he came at me that way. Right after Mr. Skinny left, we the people. All right. So this video, this video right here is March 17th.
So look, y'all, he might have been talking about me. But no, he wasn't because this had to do with Skinny and Queen Regina. But he might have been talking about me. Like I said, if y'all didn't hear that part, I said gravity take out you a wide somebody know. that you look closely to, not to say you you you, you a ch what does Mr. Skinny want out of the situation? Like, because remember, it's all like I it's said before, we're gonna like. have to uh take that cousin of the busty bus out of the algorithm. I'll get the fuck up. That's okay. a woman a bitch. I've done it. That that attached to me, that's not how I Okay. So this is this is him talking about women right and how he feels when it comes to getting finding himself in a situation where there may be an argument with a woman or anything like that so when he on the video we just watched when he was talking about i'm sick i'm not we're not gonna keep doing this coming up on my panel arguing and stuff like that no i wasn't arguing I was coming on the panel to let you know that as a supporter and as a person who won a pitch contest, a pitch contest that you uh, presented to us as an opportunity from the Riff app, investors and business owners and stuff like that. Like what? What? Oh my God. I just can't. I get so flabbergasted. I would I would think that, you know, I would be able to speak and not be considered some type of negative, derogatory, argumentative female that's just finna speak over you because I wasn't even doing that. You attacked me. Kwame you Kwame Brown straight was in attack mode when i went up on his panel he couldn't wait to talk to me the way he talked to me he couldn't wait to boot me so he didn't have to hear a woman's mouth here's why All right. i'm not above calling a woman a bitch i've done it but i'm i don't constantly uh just hook my fangs into a woman uh even if she wrong uh, man i'll get the fuck up what did y'all hear that he hooked his fangs into farmer nancy y'all he hooked his fangs into me for five minutes in front of four thousand people on a four hundred thousand subscriber youtube account on the white man's platform that happened that's me and he said he just be like, man, go on. He ain't above calling the woman a bitch. He don't want to hear that. Even if I'm wrong, even if I'm right, he don't. He not trying to hear the shit. If you wrong, psh, go on. He said even if she's wrong. So he'll call you that if you right. But even if you My wrong, man, I'll get the fuck up. that's me. So, oh, um, man, I'll get the fuck up. This hook my fangs into a woman uh even if she wrong but man i'll get the fuck up. that's me so he just said that he wouldn't hook his fangs into a woman even if she was wrong but we watched him do that to me he felt like i was wrong he said you're wrong for that man that's wrong man while having his fangs hooked into me when it comes to that, it ain't no disrespect, but we got to disassociate all this cousin, them thoughts can't use you against me. There's not no busty bus when you're coming at women and women and all that stuff the same way as these other guys. That would be hypocritical of me, just like I said to you behind the scenes. Uh, but now so it was hypocritical. It was, was it, was it hypocritical of him? To, to come at me the way he came at me while telling Skinny not to be going at Queen Regina like that? Oh, why, yes, he just said so. The hypocrisy. Allow me to be me and you to be you. I can't have Skinny overshadow Mama's cooking. 
that can't happen. Yeah, yeah, I know. Skip uh, checking uh, a woman. Oh, okay, here you go. Woman, not that of uh, uh, checking uh, a woman. Hold on. Can't overshadow mama's cooking because my message is not that of uh, checking uh, a woman. I'll check my. Okay, so his message is not that of checking a woman. He will check his woman. See this shit. Woman. I'll check a woman that, you know, that I love or care about. He'll check a woman that he loves or cares about. But all that checking every woman, my approach with a woman that I don't agree with is that I'm going to cut off all communication. Y'all hear that? This is why. But he didn't cut off all communication with me because he was still watching or having somebody watch me and he was talking about me when i did the video when we had the notice for our two thousand dollar utility bill he made fun of that he was trying to talk down on me like yeah i hope them people over there see you can get that help over there what the fuck does that have to do with you why are you even speaking on me still He was bothered because he saw me in Skinny's chat and in other chats. And I'm going to let y'all know, I felt uncomfortable because I felt like he was trolling me. After he did that to me, I thought I felt like he was victimizing me even more. Because I would go in chats and sometimes I would drop a chat. And as soon as I dropped the chat, he would say something. Intimidation. After you disenfranchise the woman, you got to intimidate her and make her think she sh she's not safe. It's not a safe space. You know, my MO is we ain't going to talk no more. I'd rather not. <laughs> that That's my MO. I'd just rather not. I know, I know, sweetie, but yeah, I, yeah. Are y'all listening to this nigga? How low? How low? Yeah, I just, I just rather not. Because I don't see, and there's a lot of young cats, it's a lot of young cats out there that they want to argue back and forth with a woman. They, and, and that's they like, that's what they can do. That's cool. But I have not seen that be beneficial yet. I've seen it to be beneficial to stay in your masculinity and make them feel small for even approaching you the way that they approached you. <gasps> did y'all hear him? And that's exactly what Kwame Brown did to me. He stood in his masculinity and had to make me feel small because I had the audacity to approach him and question him about his hypocritical ways. That's sad. He slandered my business. He slandered my name. He slandered my character. He did all that to make me feel small so that he could feel big in his masculinity. Women to him, we ain't even warranted the opportunity to talk. Yeah, mm -hmm, I understand. You understand? You understand that you defame? and slander me and think you can just, oh yeah, whatever. Um, what? I don't gotta find me a good lawyer, fool. I really, really do. I really, really, really do. Yeah, I really do. And yes, if you can, you can get edgy, call him out the name, I'm not above it. But then after that, you move on. So, uh, well, there it is. That's what he did. You know, that's that's just what it was hitting for. Oh, man. I didn't even get to... Okay. I want to... Okay. It's another video that I really got to try to put in here real quick. Shout out to uh, Lady DJ because she been out here really fearing feeling my spirit mm.
Um, is this? Is this it? Oh no, this the one. Okay, the other day, Kwame, Chucky, and Gilbert were talking. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can't hear it on here. Oh, I don't want to do this. Okay, no, we can't. We don't. Kwame was so aggressive when he was telling that story about me, y'all. Okay, here it is, y'all. Y'all see, it's at the eight minute, eight minute, eighteen second mark. I never did anything to Kwame Brown. And yet he slandered me. He didn't even know me. He defamed my business. He was up on his platform saying that shit about me. Listen, he's don't oh my god. Come on with it. All the shit he be talking about, did he be there? When he talked about me for that biz and bus, was he there? Is was he here? He literally said, Why the fuck I'm coming to Austin, Texas for? I I wouldn't what what I'm coming out there for. So if you wasn't here, how could you talk about if you didn't need you how what? So what the fuck did you talk to you about up here, Kwame? Now you over there crying to another man to help you. Jesus Christ, first you cried to get over there to help you with skin. Now you crying to chunk it to help you with Gilbert. You's a crying bitch up here. If anyone is saying anything about the other, I don't give a fuck what it is, it's wrong. Both parties, both parties are wrong. I'm not saying nothing about this dude. If he just stopped talking about me, he don't let everybody talk. talk about, man, I, listen, listen, I was raised up on some rules. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying for him. There we go. Yeah, but, you know, it's like he yeah, just yeah. respected me. I just want to talk to him. What one time? What one time? Did everybody see how Kwame kept disrespecting me? He was just going on and on and on and on. But the difference between him and me and him and Gil is Gil got to sit in his presence. See, I'm too low as a woman on the total pole to sit in his presence and receive acknowledgement for the wrongs that he's done or question him. Right? Okay. 
what I'm saying is, it don't, it, 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 when you on glass TV, it hits different when you on glass TV. You know what hit him, you know what hit different. When you on YouTube saying that this woman need a celebrity to come do her work, her business, that she won a, a, a pitch contest for, taken away from it, saying that she don't know nothing about speaking at colleges. What? Never, Lady DJ, never. <gasps> no, he didn't just say that. Was the Biz or Buzz not introducing Farmer Nasty to a whole group of people that didn't know nothing about? He didn't even introduce me. He didn't say, he didn't share ideals. Okay. And then you say, I punched through a window and hit my baby mother and you wasn't even said that shit one time. 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 Then you go in saying shit about me and my business and you weren't there. You never been now, there. Nobody that he named was there. Nobody, nothing. But if you go listen to the video, he said we want to talk to the first, right? Can I get a witness in here? Yep, he be lying. They give it a witness, tell that story on Glad TV or on Tommy Pound. So what the fuck is he up here crying for? Because he told that story on Tommy's Pound. He caught. Not on Glad TV when he told that story. He caught, Lady DJ. So Tommy's a fucking liar. Salute. It sound like he had first eyewitness of what he said when Kwame Brown talked about me it didn't it feel like he had first eyewitness he was telling those people all those things and all those people was like did y'all hear cousin Joy P uh huh yeah cause all you gotta do is when you go out there you the way you gonna move if you've done it you know you do oh, oh cousin Joy P let me get my life Okay. I didn't say you punched your baby mama. That's a cat. I said she was in the car. You said I punched through the window with her in the car. Listen to him. He argumentative. He's just like, oh my God. Oh, you said this. Da -da 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 -da. What? This this the defamation he talking about. He ain't telling people that you need him. Kwame. Gilbert ain't out here telling people that you need him to come do your work for you. That you don't know what it feels like to go out and work with kids. He ain't fucking over your personal... What? Oh, man. Come on, shit. Your business. Like you tried to bust mine down. Were you in the car? Were you there? Were you on my farm? Were you there? Were you there? I said she was in the car. You just said I said I can get her. Were said, you there? The you said I okay. needed celebrities so to come do the there? work for me. Were you there? Were you there? Where's Kwame there? there? It could have been U T. So you spoke on something, sir. You spoke on something that you wasn't there for, correct? Kwame spoke on something he wasn't there for, correct? Let me run that shit back. There, sir. No, sir. So you spoke on something, sir. You spoke on something that you wasn't there for, correct? That's called slander, my brother. <gasps> We got you on video. We got you on video, Kwame. You were getting into a situation and you spoke on it as if it was a fact, man. And that's sad that you can't just get your tongue off of me in that way, bro. Man, it's so sad, Kwame, that you just can't get your tongue off me in a negative way. Off of women, not just myself. The fact that you think that women are so beneath you.
it's sad it tells me that you envious it shows me that he's an envious person oh yeah yep 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 i feel much better i had to get that off my chest y'all i had to get that off i'm gonna make that i'm gonna make that video Come on. Come on. <coughs> see that Come on, my baby in here having a uh, nightmare. Yeah. What you mean? You think that I ever allow a man to disrespect, slander, defame my hard work when my baby looks up to me as a black queen? You think I ever let my princess see me let somebody charge into our castle climb our walls and try to spit on us never never ever will i ever so hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you have a good morning i hope you reached this point you know for everybody that you know stood behind that guy um even till now you know people wondering how i got into a situation with rainy it was because ain't nobody want to hear her sob story <laughs> what you mean you know what i'm saying you were supporting a man man that was defaming yeah what you was willing to dox you was willing to go above and beyond to expose charleston white for somebody that's a, a man that's out here slandering women where you think queen regina got the green light from to slander your ass rainy man y'all wilding out um yeah this 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 one is for everybody like you know, I even had beefed out with the crew. T.Y. Southside. I don't really got no issue with beef or nothing with Straight Talk. He be on his own shit, on his own level. But, yeah, bro, this how deep it go for me. It's, it's deeper than that surface shit. It's, it's deeper than, than that shit, having people. That's what made me start feeling like, that was just a show. It was just a, a off spin and a show for shits and giggles. And it is what it is. But at the end of the day, <sighs> Kwame Brown slandered Farmer Nancy. It was defamation of character. And I'ma just go find me a lawyer. Fuck it. <laughs>